Hello guys, uh, currently we are alongside in Yantian, China. And that vessel, that is Ashley Maersk, is on the way to get alongside, just behind us. And the weather is a little bit warm, but the scene out around is really beautiful. As you can see, the sea, mountains and sky on the same frame. So here is the SLA Mars got alongside uh, just behind our vessel and uh, there is accommodation and lot of containers and uh, this cargo operation has already started. Beautiful seagull flying on his way and uh, now we are preparing for the departure and as you can see the tugboats are alongside on the aft station and uh, another tugboat is going in the forward. But for you guys, I have made very nice time lapse. Just enjoy that one. Right now, we are on the way to Hong Kong, and uh, by midnight, we will get alongside in Hong Kong. Look at this beautiful sunset, it really gives peace. Guys, we have reached at a pilot station and the pilot is on board. And here you can see the tech board is alongside. Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to this new vlog. And how are you all? So guys, today I am going to ask one question to you. That what is marine electricity? Okay, I will tell you what is marine electricity. So the electricity that is generated and consumed on ship, port, dry dock or shipyard or any structure that is involved of shipping cargo from one place to another place. That is called a marine electricity. And do you know how we will produce it? and how we fulfill the demand of electricity on board. So in this video, I'm going to cover each and everything about the electricity that we generated on board. Guys, marine electricity is very important part of shipping operation because without marine electricity, it would not be possible to run any machinery and to fulfill the main purpose of shipping cargo from one place to another place will not be possible in any way. So in this video, we will know each and everything about marine electricity, that how we produce it and how, we'll, how we fulfill the demand of electricity on board. So for that, I have to go to engine room and there I will show you the diesel generators. So guys this is number one generator and here down there it's an exciter stator together with the shaft bearing and this is the synchronous generator or you can say alternator which convert mechanical energy into electrical energy and generator is the combination of internal combustion engine and the alternator and the generator engine converts chemical energy of fuel into mechanical energy that is then converted to electrical power which is transferred to the main bus bar through these power cables. 
This generator engine is consists of 8 units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The power output of this diesel generator is proportional to the size of the engine. The more powerful the engine, more output we can get as electricity. The engine is fitted with an integrated control, monitoring and safety system. The HMI display provides safety system and visual representation of major temperature and pressure and engine operation and control. Emergency stop push button, local remote selector switch, lower and raise selection switch. This duplex fuel oil filter unit. Guys, this generator engine are designed to run on HFO and ULSFO at all time, but have the facility to change over to MGO if required. M MGO means diesel oil. And guys, the fuel system stores and distributes the generator fuel. Fuel is the most important thing to make the engine run. As we know that it converts chemical energy of a fuel into mechanical energy and the engine is fitted with a constant pressure exhaust gas driven turbocharger which is consist of turbine and compressor. Yep. Guys that is the turbocharger rotor assembly and that is the exhaust pipe which is going all the way to the funnel. So guys next is lubricating system. This component guarantees that the various component of the diesel engine run smoothly. An electrically driven pre-lubricating oil pump supplying lube oil to the bearings and other gears while the generator is at standby mode. When in service lubricated is done by engine driven gear pump. And guys this is the big diesel engine which can produce almost 1600 kilowatt electrical power. And these are pressure transmitter of the lube oil and fuel. And this is electronic actuator. And here we have a crankcase explosion relief valve on the generators. So this crankcase relief valve will immediately open in case of any explosion inside the engine due to combustion. The guys next is starting air system. The engine is started by means of build on air starter which is a turbine motor with gearbox, safety clutch drive, shaft with pinion. And there is a main starting valve also. The air starter is activated electrically with pneumatic solenoid valve. When the starting valve is opened, compressed air is admitted into the drive shaft housing of the air starter. And this is a temperature and pressure transmitter connection box. Guys, this is pre-lubrication pump starter panel and uh, one more starter panel and uh, this is the power supply unit for this generator. Now we will understand the basic working principle of the diesel generator. So to produce alternating current power, diesel generators go through a series of stages. When the generator starts, it goes through a four combustion process, suction, compression, power and exhaust. As a consequence, the fuel chemical energy is transformed into rotational mechanical energy. And this, mechan and this mechanical energy is employed to turn a crankcase. Guys, this is the main diesel generator engine cross section. Here you can see in this diagram, this is a crankshaft. Uh, this is the crankshaft and here is the counterweight this is the oil pan and sump uh, for the lube oil and this is the connecting rod which is connecting this crankshaft to the piston and, and here is the cylinder liner and this piston moves inside the cylinder liner and here is the exhaust valve and then inlet valve this is the cylinder head and here is the fuel pump and uh, there is a rock gears and here we have a piston rings so so guys using this uh, diagram you would have a nice idea of the cross section of the engine so guys this is the alternator internal component view where you can see this is AVR and here we have a bearing that I have shown in the picture before and this is the shaft rotor and stator this is a stator exciter stator and this is the exciter rotor and then we have a main rotor and this one we have a stator winding and guys here we have a rectifier which convert AC to DC. The electricity is generated when the rotor spins. So guys here what happens AVR supply 12 volts to this exciter stator and, and then it produces electrical magnetic field. This electrical magnetic field cuts through this rotor winding 
and it generate electrical magnetic field in this rotor winding and then this three phase alternating voltage converted to dc voltage using the rectifier and then this dc voltage interact with the stator winding and it produce three phase alternating voltage in the stator winding and to this current flow through the circuit guys in short when the rotor with magnets is rotating inside the stator stator consisting of copper wires the magnetic field changes and this change in the magnetic field is responsible for generating an induced emf at the end thus providing the current to flow so guys i hope you would have understand the basic uh, principle of the diesel generator with an overview of how diesel generators produce electricity to fulfill the electricity demand on board and yes if you love this video and found it informative then please like subscribe and share this video as much as you can and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming videos till then enjoy some beautiful scene from the hong kong coastal areas